Good morning. Um, welcome to the CIMEX Campus Open Day. My name is Carlo Minusi. I'm uh, uh, presently the director of the CIMEC, and my task today is to introduce CIMEC to you. So I will give you an overview uh, about CIMEC. CIMEC stands for Center for Mind Brain Sciences. Uh, CIMEC was opened 10 uh, years ago, so this year is the 10th anniversary of CIMEC, and the aims of the center are substantially two. One is research, and the second one is education. So the research time is actually the main part of CIMEC, and here at CIMEC uh, we uh, deal with the brain and the relation between brain and mind. So we are interested in uh, studying the functioning of the brain through the analysis of its functional and structural characteristics in normal and pathological condition, starting from uh, insect and ending with uh, elderly. So in the wall, uh, line of evolution. And the second part is also the relevant one is the education. And the aim here is uh, taking advantage of this cutting edge environment given by the research uh, background is to educate the next generation of interdisciplinary research in mind brain science. So this uh, word here is a key element of CIMEC. You will see in a moment why this is an important element of CIMEC. Uh, as a first aspect, CIMEC incorporates different faculty members uh, from different departments. So the main uh, body of the CIMEC is uh, done by people from psychology and cognitive sciences, but we do also have uh, people from physics, mathematics, information engineering, and computer sciences, as well as the Department of uh, Humanities and Philosophy, and probably in the future, maybe next department. So it's really an interdisciplinary research center. Uh, people at CIMEC comes from many different countries, so about half of the uh, research fellows, but also principal investigators, are from abroad, as you can see from this slide. And uh, uh, just to give you an idea, uh, postdoctoral fellows are from Albania, China, South Korea, Germany, Greece, Italy, New Zealand, Netherlands, the United Kingdom, Romania, Spain, uh, um, uh, United States, Vietnam, and so is for principal investigators. Uh, as you can see, they come from uh, they come from different countries or PhD student. Uh, so Argentina, Belgium, uh, Germany, uh, again Israel, uh, Czech Republic, Russia. Lithuania and so on. So substantially, uh, CIMEC is a melting pot of different culture. And if you're going to decide to come here to study at CIMEC, you will be part of also of this uh, uh, situation. So you will bring, bring your culture, your background to take, uh, take it within uh, the CIMEC. This is the structure of CIMEC. I will introduce you mainly this part. Uh, this, uh, the educational part, the educational part will be introduced later on by my colleagues. Uh, so, uh, just very briefly, education. Uh, uh, the education, as you can see here, uh, underlined in black, is one of the aim of CIMEC. And at CIMEC, you can find three main elements. One is the master course in cognitive science. It's a two-year master course, the one that you are interested in, and you go at the moment to tracks. One is the cognitive neuroscience, the other one is language and multimodal interaction. Both tracks will be introduced later on more in details by my colleagues. Then we got the PhD program in cognitive and brain sciences. This is a four-year PhD program. And then uh, I wouldn't say finally, but in terms of official courses, finally we got this summer school in collaboration with Harvard University that is uh, going on since the beginning of uh, CIMEC, and is every summer we got this summer school. Uh, 
That's the educational part, all about research activity. Uh, as I showed you in this uh, graph, there are, uh, in the green part, uh, uh, include all the research uh, laboratories. As you can see, there are substantially, mainly, six laboratories. Those laboratories are located in different parts of Rovereto. In a moment, I will show you all different laboratories. Um, and as you will see, each of this uh, part of the CIMEC, uh, it, it is developing a specific line of research. So the first laboratory is the LNIF, so the Functional Neuroimaging Laboratory, is located in Mattarello. It's very close to Trento. It's about 15, 20 minutes uh, by car, a little bit, bit more by public transportation. We are here in Rovereto, here is Mattarello. The LNIF uh, laboratories uh, comprise mainly three labs. Those three labs are the uh, Neuroimage MRI laboratory, the Magnetoencephalography laboratory, and then Transcranial Brain Stimulation laboratories. But we also have two additional laboratories uh, using uh, different methods uh, combined amongst them. So we combine, for example, TMS, TGCS, and electroencephalography, or we can also combine MRI with brain stimulation or uh, MRI with electroencephalography. So here, the main elements, uh, at the moment we go uh, a four Tesla MRI in the neuroimaging lab, in the fMRI lab, um, but by the, this summer we will buy a new uh, machine. And uh, as you know, with uh, MRI, you can picture your brain uh, in terms of static, but also in terms of active condition. And we use those information then to uh, correlate those anatomical functional information with behavior or uh, a specific state of a subject. The same we do with magnetoencephalography. In this case, we can record um, uh, the uh, uh, magnetic activity produced by the brain when the brain is active, when synapses are uh, given body to communication. And in the brain stimulation lab, we can interact with the function non-invasively with the function of the brain to see what is the role of a given area and then establish what are the consequences of the, uh, these interactions. So this is a function neuroimaging laboratory. And then uh, there is the EPL laboratory where um, that is actually located just next door in front of this building. In, it's here in the Federigotti building. Uh, the uh, EPL experimental psychology uh, laboratories are serious laboratories that actually uh, are focused on the behavioral part, on what we can measure uh, visually, I mean, what is visible when we are taking a specific behavior in a specific uh, condition. And we got the multisensory lab, the psychophysic lab, the uh, kinematic lab, the electroencephalography lab, and the eye movements lab, as well as uh, a baby lab where we study behavior of uh, young uh, subjects. Um, so those are the main laboratories here uh, at Palazzo Federigotti. The other lab is also located at uh, Palazzo Federigotti, is the Click Lab. In this case, uh, so again here, uh, the Click Lab is the language interaction and computational uh, laboratory uh, that deals with theoretical linguistic, computational linguistic, language vision, and the main aim of this lab is to study, to study language and its uh, interaction with other aspects of cognition. Uh, via theoretical and also computational modeling. Uh, again, a colleague of mine will introduce more specifically this part because this part is strictly related with uh, the language multimodal uh, track of the master course. Then we got the uh, ACN lab, Animal Cognition and Neuroscience Science Laboratories. Those laboratories are located at Manifattura. We are here at the moment. Here you got the train station. Here is the Manifattura. So it's about uh, 20 minutes, half an hour uh, uh, walking distance from here, or 10 minutes, 15 minutes from the train stations. Uh, at the Manifattura, there are 
uh, all these animal cognition and neuroscience laboratories, and the main aim of those laboratories are to study uh, cognitive uh, function, cognitive process uh, following an evolutionary uh, line. So to evaluate the cognitive process and their neurobiological basis in a comparative perspective, starting from insects and ending, uh, going to zebra fish and uh, other uh, chicks and so on, uh, ending with newborns. So uh, this lab is trying to draw a line uh, do, uh, in the, uh, in, with an evolutionary perspective. Um, okay, and then uh, uh, last, I mean, not really, but the last uh, laboratory is the neuropsychological uh, lab. In this case, case, the neuropsychological lab comprised the CHERIM, so the Center for Neurocognitive and Neurorehabilitation. This center, again, we are here now, and this center is located very close to the train station. It's about five, ten minutes walk distance from here. This center got an additional heim to uh, the Chimekheims. So the Chimekheims are education, and this center is important to train people uh, to work with patients, to test patients, and so on. It's important also to, for research, uh, research purposes, to develop new tools to evaluate cognitive dysfunction in patients, and also to uh, develop eventually new type of uh, non-pharmacological treatments. But he also have, it, as I said, an additional aim is a more a clinical aim, a clinical service, because there is a, an agreement between this, uh, the, the CHIMEC, and therefore this specific part of CHIMEC, and the local uh, hospital. And so in this, uh, based on this agreement, uh, this center actually is also uh, producing a diagnosis for patients with uh, cognitive dysfunctions, ranging from memory to up to other different functions, even uh, considering motor aspect. Uh, in the past, we were considering all the, the behavior, all the motor elements are something completely different than cognition. Now we know that it's not anymore like that. Even uh, action, even behavior is part of our uh, cognitive system. So this is the, uh, the chairing. Um, those are the main laboratories under CHIMEC, but there are other laboratories. Very quickly, there are laboratories in collaboration. One is in collaboration with the Neurophysic Lab. In this case, there is a two-photon neuroimaging system, very complex, that can actually measure in vivo um, uh, condition. For example, a recent study they published was to evaluate, evaluate a memory in honey beans, and they discovered that some pesticides is actually interfering with the memory ability of these beings, and therefore they were they, those uh, insects are not any more able to produce as much honey as we would like to. Uh, so there's this uh, um, neurophysic lab. Then there is a, a, a laboratory in collaboration with the local uh, uh, civic museum. It's the Tology, Ecology, and Evolution Lab. There are several laboratories that are very close to the city. They are up to the hill. It's about uh, five, four kilometers from here. And as you can see here, there's a, uh, they can stu study uh, behavior in an etiological condition, ecological condition, but also is an educational uh, center to train uh, people from uh, high school or primary school. Uh, there is a collaboration with the neuroinformatic lab. In this case, uh, uh, the, the aim of this uh, lab is more computation, to use computational uh, methods to build uh, tools to analyze uh, the structure of our brain. For example, here you can see in, in collaboration with this laboratory, uh, using MRI data, we can build what are the main roads of our brain. Um, and then, Another important element is the strong collaboration with the Center for Neuroscience and Cognitive System that, uh, Systems that is part of the Italian Institute of, of uh, Technology. Uh, the um, Center for Neuroscience and Cognition System is located on, uh, at the third floor of Palazzo Fedigotti, so where CIM is actually located. And there are several lines of research that will be introduced later on by uh, my colleague. 
Uh, research and funding. CIMEC is, as I said, is a research uh, institution, and so it, for us, is an important uh, drive to uh, produce high quality research. And uh, uh, these are the main area of research at CIMEC. There are many other areas, but these are just the main action, animal cognition, neuroscience, computational modeling, language and conceptualization, learning and plasticity, neuroimaging, neurocognitive rehabilitation, perception, attention, decision making, and reasoning. So there are many uh, cutting edge research going on here at the moment, and those uh, research are actually the environment uh, that uh, can be used to be at contact what, on what is actually going on in the neuroscience uh, uh, scientific world. Uh, CIMEC he has been recently evaluated as the, the, in, uh, by the Italian uh, VUQR, the evaluation of research quality, as the first center in the psychological science uh, um, uh, field. And uh, it was the same four years ago. And within uh, Trento University, is, uh, irrespective of the area, is also ranked as the first center within, in terms of research within Trento University. And to uh, run our research, we rely on several uh, sources. As you can see here, we rely, we rely quite a lot on uh, European uh, founding, but also founding from other institutions, for example, for Caritro or uh, the local provincial autonomy and so on. Um, last few things, workshop, events, and communication. So research is important, but also uh, communicate research is a relevant aspect. To discuss with colleagues is a relevant aspect, or, uh, element. And we organize many international workshops. Every year there is this concept, action, and objects, the so-called cows. It will be held this year in May, and so there will be for the next few years. We go every uh, week, I would say, not every year, but every week we go many seminars and PhD colloquia with uh, international speakers. And every two years, there are several workshops uh, organized here. Uh, those elements are important because you will have access to those workshops, to those international uh, conferences. So we will have the opportunity, actually, to interact with uh, uh, neuroscientists from all over the world. We don't organize just very science, strictly scientific elements, but we do organize also uh, um, events uh, that are open to the public. And for example, uh, there is this Neurosciences Society event that's going on every year, and we invite several well-known persons, uh, at least in Italy. Um, what is the future of CIMEC? The future CIMEC is based on the fact that uh, in a few years we will move all these centers that you saw at Mattarello or in other location, we will move all those elements to the manufacturer it's here. As you can see, uh, this is our future, so there will be a slightly different environment, even if this one is quite nice, I should say. So this is the manufacturer. Here will be, there will be the CIMEC. Uh, that in terms of infrastructures, but there is another element uh, that's really important. What's going to be the future of CIMEC? The future of CIMEC is practically for those of you that decide to uh, take part in this master course will be probably part of the future of CIMEC. So you're, we, you're, you will be part of the future of CIMEC if you decide to actually uh, take this course. And thank you for your attention. I will be around later on, so I mean, if you want to ask me, I don't know if I don't think we got time, time now. If whatever you want to ask me, I will be here around. Okay, thank you.